Justine Flirt, the man they hope will fill the boots vacated by Brian Dean. Well, what are the prospects this season for United, the Premier League's perennial strugglers? Sheffield United's image as a team of honest grafters lacking any star quality will only be reinforced by the departure of Brian Dean. United's season ticket sales have been boosted virtually every year by his guaranteed presence. The Blades manager Dave Bassett has already spent some of the £2.9 million Leeds paid for Dean to sign defender David Tuttle from Tottenham. But United fans could soon be cheering a new hero in the number 10 shirt. The club hopes to finalise the signing of the Norwegian international Justine Fleur tomorrow. Supporters who were angered by the sale of Dean to Yorkshire rivals Leeds United might be interested to know Fleur is a lifelong Leeds fan. He's quite well known in this country already as one of England's tormentors in the World Cup qualifying match against Norway in June. Well, if I could get this striker, it would be excellent for us to have him before the season starts. But uh, if it doesn't work out, we'll get on with what we got. You know, I'm a great believer. It's no good worrying about what might happen. It's what's available to you at that time. Yes, we want a striker. Hopefully, we can get him sooner rather than later. Critics of United style say they're long ball merchants who lack finesse. But the charge isn't completely fair. Glyn Hodges, for one, is a highly gifted player. Sadly, the club's skipper will miss the first three months of the season through injury. Brian Gale is the side's inspiration. One of the new recruits is predicting good things ahead. I think we're going to surprise a few teams. Uh, I'm certainly surprised by the ability of some of the players. Some of the young lads are absolutely tremendous. Uh, Dane Whitehouse, Mitch Ward, uh, Carl Bradshaw. You've got so much ability, young lads. And uh, people just think of Sheffield United as an up-and-under team, but uh, they've got plenty of ability, I can assure you. From a strictly financial point of view, Sheffield United would probably settle for a repeat of last year. The All-Sheffield FA Cup semi-final was a big money spinner for a club which seems to be permanently hard up. Although the Wembley escapade ended in tears, United did manage to escape relegation for the third year running. With the spirit in the camp, it would be foolish to bet against them finding an escape route again this season.